Hey guys, for this video I'm going to show you how to put together this Mr. Ironstone L-shaped computer desk. Then we'll take a look at it, see what we think, get the computer all set up so you can get an idea of what fits on there and how it looks all put together. And Mr. Ironstone was nice enough to send me this for free so I can make this video showing it to you. Now this is the box it was shipped in and for reference the shipping weight was about 43 pounds so be prepared for that box on your doorstep. Let's open it up and see what pieces we have inside. Got everything unboxed, got a bunch of frame pieces and you can see everything is labeled with little stickers with letters on them so that makes it nice and easy. We got a couple of the top panels, they also have stickers along the edge. If you look right here. And then for hardware, it's in five different compartments that are labeled one through five. Middle one is an Allen wrench and the rest is hardware. We also have two brackets that look like that. So let's get on to step one. Step one is attaching E to H using three number one screws. It says to tighten to 50%. So H is your top panel that is square with a little triangle cut out there. I'll show you in a second. And then E is the metal frame that goes around it. Pay attention to these little tabs. You want them down so that they support the board underneath. So here are those pieces. You see this side cut right here. There's also holes underneath that this is screwing into and these tabs are on the bottom so they support the board right here and then we're just going to use the Allen to tighten these down a little bit. 50% tightness. Whatever you call 50%. For step two we're just lining things up. The two F pieces which is our last remaining tabletop pieces we're going to line them up on this edge where that cutoff corner was and keep in mind all your holes are going around the perimeter but the inside of the L will have no holes drilled or anything at all. So we get it on the floor and it'll look something like that. Right buddy? Yeah I know. For step three we're going to start attaching some legs. So you have the two triangle frame pieces listed as B and they get four of the number five bolts which are the longest bolts that are in the end of the package right there. See this guy is labeled B and the triangle portion is going to be going away from the L to the outside. So that's the first one and we'll be putting the second one on with to those holes right there. Next up we're going to start putting the outer legs together. Those are labeled A. Keep in mind you have the beefy port part of this Z starts at the bottom front and goes towards the back. So make sure you have that in the right position. Also, it's got these little nuts on top that are probably for these feet. So you want to make sure those are on the top edge and not trying to put them down here. You can see I got this first one in place. It's using two of the shorter bolts that are in the first package. And we just have to do the same thing right there. Now we are on to step five, which we're attaching four of these long rectangle rod type guys to the frame using eight of the uh, number one bolts. Those are the short ones. So it's these long square pieces that are going to support your desktop. And they look just like this. These square guys right here. And you can see I have this side already on. So there's holes. You're just pushing the uh, bolt through there, tightening it down. Two on that side, and then two over here. Just breezing on through onto step six. And we are attaching those little braces with the triangle in the center using the number one bolts. Those are the shorties and they go into the legs there. Now pay attention, the point of your triangle is going towards the underside of the desktop and we do have an extra hole up here so don't try and bolt that to there. You got a little gap there, it goes to the next one down. And that is what it looks like all put together. The two bolts there and there. Step seven is just telling us to finish tightening that first triangle bracket we put on. And for step eight, we're gonna add our round support bracket here and those are listed as the longer number five bolts and that is what our curved bracket looks like installed it's using those holes that were left from the previous step we're almost to the finish line running out of pieces step nine we're going to finish tightening these bolts there and the ones on the edge there and we're also going to attach the feet there's six of them they look like this. You can peel off the little blue film. A thread into the bottom at each corner here. And there's also two in the middle. 
Because of the way they thread, they also work as adjusters. So if you get this thing right side up and it wobbly, it's wobbly or anything in any spot, you can adjust any of these in or out to uh, make it nice and stable for you. It's time to attach our brackets for the monitor shelf. And it's going to be the last piece of wood you have. We're opening up the number four screws. So it's the first time using those. And here's what it looks like. Now we're going to flip the desk over and get this guy mounted with it. For the last step, we need to use those same shorty number four bolts to attach our shelf. There's holes underneath on either side. So you can mount it over here or you can mount it over here, whichever you prefer. So here we have it all set up, right side up, ready to go. We'll have to get those stickers off. Well, let's start getting the old computer all set up and see how it looks with stuff on it. Got everything all set up. Things looking pretty good. Got the monitor all set up there. I decided not to use the shelf for the monitor, but I got my speaker there and my rechargeable headphones. Got a nice blank space here. We can do some writing or something, whatever we need to use. It's just like a regular desk. Fitting a laser printer, my Dymo printer, little knickknacks. Look at the other time someone annoys me on the computer. That's what it's there for. <laughs> wireless mouse, wireless key, it's all here. I'm kind of surprised how much stuff fits on here. That's kind of a big monitor there. And we got plenty of empty space. We want to add something else. I do like the shelf, not even using it for the monitor. So I can put other stuff up here. Really good. It's nice. So there it is, the Mr. Ironstone L-shaped desk. Thanks for watching.